All right, guys, welcome back to the SLMKX Pro League presented by Xbox. We have our next match, which is going to be Gig Vicious versus Bread. You guys don't remember, Bread was the Ermac player from last week's top four, doing very well. Right. And he's back again for the top eight here. Known as Big D. Big D, uh, the MK9 people, yeah. community. I think that's what the uh, gamer tech he played under for most of MK9, so. Yes. Great Anything player. Else? His performance last week was amazing. Yeah, no, he yeah. did very well. Very solid Ermac. Uh, he beat Dink. He did. Who we just saw 3 0 Perfect Legend. <laughs> so. Yes, he did. Yeah, that was a great match. Crazy man. match. I know. I wasn't sure uh, if and, he could uh, do it, man. But. And MK9, he also played Ermac, right, as well as Nightwolf. Right. So Ermac is definitely in his repertoire. It's his, his favorite character, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, Gig Vicious. I'm actually not familiar with the player. I am not either. So, like we talked about constantly, that's the amazing thing about these about these tournaments. Like, you know, if you don't have the money to fly out, if you don't have the time, uh, yeah. you know, you can play from your couch Ooh, and here you but are. He's going to be a Jax player. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, man. I'm excited to see this. All right. So, our first match vicious. of the top. Is that pumped up? That is a little bit of pumped, a lot of bit of up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Totally. I feel, like, I feel like you don't know what I'm saying because you looked at me crazy. <laughs> I always look at you crazy. Ooh. <laughs> what? One, say that. Fight. <laughs> All right, here we go. He is playing pumped up. Now his variation gives him aerial ground pounds. Ooh. EX dash punch there. Starting off good pressure right good now. Right there. That is neutral on block, so it is safe to throw out. Nice poke. That Gets right under the dash punch. He's got to be careful, though, because Vicious can make that go downwards and hit overhead. So he can blow that up if he tries to do that again. So maybe we're seeing a little bit of uh, conditioning here like we talked about. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe. And he gets time. hit with a soul ball. This is going to be... Oh, oh, no. He doesn't get in fast enough. Nice oh, he armor. just armors out. Fortunately, he doesn't get anything off of it, though. Those air ground pounds. This is interesting as well because both characters have aerial ground pounds that can trip up the oh, opponent. Yeah. They totally do. All right, so a couple lows there. Good nice stuff. Nice mix up again. Oh, oh. Nice spacing from Brett. You saw him try to use that meter bird to get the overhead going, but he whiffs. Oh, he finally threw that overhead in and it worked, but didn't convert it. Now Brett's got him in the corner, finishes it out. Very nice. That uh, Pharaoh Ermac skin, very cool. Yes, that is my favorite skin to use as Ermac. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love Egyptian stuff. And it tickles my fancy, if you will. Egyptian stuff. Egyptian stuff, man. I, I like I like the style. And here we go. Style right now in the corner for Fred. Oh, doesn't finish his combo, yeah. unfortunately. He teleported himself into the corner. Fortunately, it doesn't matter. He still gets the mix-up. Oh, good block there. Thought he was going to get punished. And that is, again, neutral. Jax is, I mean, Vicious isn't punishing anymore. No, and I feel like he's respecting that string too much. It is neutral, and Jax is very fast normals so that he can trade with Ermac. Oh. But here we go. Huge combo in the corner. Some nice damage here. 31%, okay. That is also plus a block. There nice. There we go. Good mix-ups. Forces bread to break. So, Vicious, full meter. Yeah. I mean, is he going to burn the X-ray? Is he going to try to save it from more pressure? He's got him in the corner right now. Nice, nice low, low starter. Oh, beautiful teleport. Doesn't convert. Oh, Wait, so, oh beautiful. So sick. Really nice, the EX overhead dash punch into normal dash punch. Just to get the damage out. Very smart stuff. Yeah. From Vicious. And he takes that round. Oh, no. Vicious. Drops his combo. Yeah, Vicious is still with a huge meter damage here. Tries to go invisible for some tricky stuff, but gets caught. And now a huge combo from Vicious. Yeah, good damage there, mid screen. Much better than uh, MK9 mid screen. Jax, for sure. Yeah, nice little conversion there. But again, gets mm -hmm. caught with the overhead from Jax's dash punch. He, he doesn't get anything after it, though. I, I would have liked to see him chase him down a little bit more. I agree with you. And I don't really like that he's trying to trade full screen with Bread because Ermac gets the soul ball, which will lead into a full combo. Right, that's a trade he doesn't want to have any part of, for sure. Nice, oh, nice block. block. I'm not sure why he threw the overhead out. Uh, Bread was standing there. Well, it was a good decision from Red to block. Now yeah. he's got him. Oh! oh nice. Armors through it. That was actually really well timed. That was that. really smart on oh, both players' behalf, though. Yeah. He tried to, to mix him up, wins. hitting the jump kick, and then canceling into the soul explosion. Unfortunately, King had a little bit of something on his own, and he used armor to get right through it and take out the rest of his life bar. Smart stuff. So 1 0 vicious. The respect. The respect. Yeah, he played a really patient match there. Yeah, at first it looked like, I mean, Bread was just dominating the match. He was controlling all over the, place. the pace. Yeah. He was definitely getting the better exchanges, the pressure. He was uh, he was making Vicious really respect his pressure. But then Vicious just kind of turned on the armor and just completely turned that around. 
Yeah, he definitely picked his moments there uh, very wisely, obviously. Uh, I mean, that first round, uh, it was looking like Bread was going to run through him, but yeah. this just takes the first game. Different story was told in the finals of that round, though. Definitely, definitely. So here we go. Getting back into next game. Mr. Bread Truck. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> Bread Truck. Yes. So much. I don't know why. Awesome. Bread's an awesome guy. Here we go. Getting that first hit. Again, very oh. smart. Almost out of punish. Yeah, oh. he almost got that jump and punch over that, uh, that's, that soul ball. Unfortunately, Vicious is not converting off of those overheads, though. He's not getting anything else. Right. He's just kind of breaking up the pace, uh, you know, that Bread's trying to put on him. Or, you know, at least the pressure. But what that's going to do is that's not really going to discourage Bread from continuing to poke out normal dash punches. It definitely, because it's like, he'd rather take that one dash punch, and then now you're down a bar. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And he can punish it if he wants. Oh, he gets caught at the nice. very end of that. Smart breaker. Vicious now getting hit in a combo. Midscreen misses the jump kick. Picks him back up. The nice throw. It's the Oki. Nice block in the overheads. That's yeah. actually minus six. So Jax could have put out a normal and stopped him from jumping. Okay. I mean, he, Vicious just chipping away here. Just a little bit at a time. Nice block. And here we go. Great punish. combo. Yeah, good block. Great punish there by Bread. And there it is. Smart right. stuff. Good patience. It's very good patience from Bread. Definitely. Alright, finally Jax goes down. <laughs> Round two. So, I mean, is, is Vicious gonna turn this around now? And again, right. throwing his own. <laughs> He's like, I got down pounds too, man. <laughs> and again, that is not a trade that Vicious wants. Staying full screen is not the smart option to go with in this matchup. Oh, there it is again. When he tries to run in, unfortunately gets hit by the soul ball anyways. Nice 32% combo meterless from Red Truck. I feel like it might be kind of hard for Jax to approach uh, Ermac when he has it can three be. souls. Yeah. However, the thing about this matchup is Jax can also blow up all of Ermac's wake-up options. Right, so but he has to get in and pressure him. Yeah. Good block there. See, okay, that's what he needs to do. He needs to kind of bait that soul ball, block in, and then dash in, which is what he did right there. He didn't get to turn it into any damage there, but... Fortunately not, and Bread's going to take that second match, so it's now 1-1. Right, in a 3 out of 5. For Vicious versus Bread. I like the adjustment made, though, from, uh, from Bread. He was definitely a lot more patient, and he was willing to just block overhead until that dash punch came, and eventually it did, and then it led to a punish every time. Yeah, um, he, looked, he looked way better. That, that match and obviously he took it so I mean is now Vicious needs to return the it's favor it's his turn yeah. to adjust yeah so he needs to adjust he, he didn't it seemed like he played exactly the same he did in the first match which I mean he won the first one so I imagine Some, you know you know sometimes it's good to switch your play style but honestly I feel like when you win a match whether it's convincing or not sometimes the best thing to do if it's close is to actually kind of switch up your play style because the other the other opponent's going to come in thinking they know what you're going to do Right, and then when you switch from let's say a zoning playstyle to a heavy rushdown, it's like whoa, like this is not what I was trying to adjust the fight. Yeah, Vicious definitely mm. needs to not try to play the zoning <laughs> game here, like he has been, no. or at least in that last match he did quite a bit, and he was just eating. It's you know, a terrible trade. Win. Okay, he's in, nice but he streams. jumps over. It's good pressure strings from Bread. Now he's got more going. Oh, I feel like he could have got that neutral jump punch right there. Definitely have to agree with you. Here we go, big punish, but drops it, unfortunately. But he's got bread in the corner. <laughs> That's a down two to it. Good block, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, he'd rather take that than a, you know, one of those uh, uh, yeah, fireballs, for sure. Yeah, I agree. And again, oh. Get... oh, nice good. blocks on the low. Good block from bread there. Notice that bread stood up just in case that overhead dash punch was coming. Right. So, obviously, he's noticing patterns, making adjustments. Yeah, and that's what top players okay. tend to do. Nice go. stuff. Good break. Got him right in the corner. That's where but he wants him, but he lets him jump, jump out. For free. Blocks the overhead there. All right, pushing him back to the corner. Gets the overhead. Okay. Good, Good stuff. Yeah, definitely a smart break there by Brett. Oh. Man. He's jumping back now, and Vicious is letting this happen. This is not where... This is not how he wants the match so, to be. Oh, okay. He got out of that. Didn't have enough souls to He's cap. still really oh. close here. Could be oh, anyone's no game. No here. Oh, good teleport. Oh, oh that's nice. a good block, but doesn't keep going. The scramble. Oh, man. <laughs> that was so <laughs> close. So many whiffs. Yeah. That was a very crazy scramble at the end. Exactly. Vish is able to take it. Nice anti air down one on the crossover. Just putting pressure this throw. And there we go with that grab pressure. Now he's going to make him respect it, but he armors right out of it. Yeah. Smart stuff, though. Yeah, jockeying for position, getting himself out of the corner, but now he's stuck right back in there with the soul ball. 
interesting that Ooh. Bread would want to let him out of the corner instead of grabbing him in combo and throwing him back in. Yeah. I don't know. I guess he feels like he's he's winning, you know, the mid-screen game. So. He is. Oh, okay. Good blocks there. No punish. Really respecting Jax after the dash punch, which is actually minus on block. Oh, oh nice job. Oh, doesn't convert it, though. That would have been some good damage there. That's also plus on block. Nice blocks. Good punish there by Bread. Closes out that Final round. round. So, Vicious has him, oh, I was gonna say he has him pretty close to the corner, but he jumps back. Again, he's willing to trade in that situation. That's not working out for him. Right, and he just lost two bars of meter for it. And I love that he's throwing in grabs now. There we go, finally turns out oh, that. Really good counter move there by Bread. Okay. Oh. Nice. Oh, doesn't convert. Loses the, uh, the positioning there on the corner. Good nice blocks by Bread. Nice from Bread. And nice punish, too. And this is what I was talking about. There's a lot of lack of normal grabs just coming from Vicious. I mean, he's using the same string over and over again to try to get him to get pressure. He's not mixing it up with grabs. And Brett is just perfectly content blocking all of those. Yeah. All right. That's going to be the second match now. Well, that was definitely closer than the last one. Yes. So Vicious, you know, making some adjustments here. Um, this could be his last chance this next game. So, But again, he's too comfortable just trading projectiles full screen. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want to get into that battle with, you know, Master of Souls Ermac. I mean, I play Ermac and I hate fighting Ermac, so I completely <laughs> understand. The last thing you want to do is trade projectiles with Ermac. He gets a, th a three soul ball, and then you're just caught. And you know that he's going to get in there and he's going to start comboing you for some pretty decent damage. I mean, Ermac can do 39% completely, completely naked mid screen. Meterless? Yeah, absolutely. That is very respectable. So he's just going to stick to his guns here, pumped up Jax all the way. Yeah. He, I, I mean, get it. They I were get, pretty close. I get what you said, because you said stick to your guns, and he was pointing at his guns, like his arms. Yeah. It was really It'd be more appropriate for heavy weapons. It was but. really punny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, guys. That was magical. This is Vicious's last chance. Can he bring it back, or will Bread once again move on to get closer to the top four finish he earned last week? Good blocks there. Vicious. Good stuff. Red with, red with all the momentum. Right I there really we go. love his pressure. He's using all the right strings. Those are all neutral or barely minus on block. So forcing Vicious to armor through there, but doesn't really get anything off oh, it. Oh, beautiful. Very nice neutral jump one for Red. Full combo. Nice vortex. Oh. Good blocks, though. Definitely. Again, there's that same string that we keep seeing, and, you know, Red's onto it. Oh, nice run cancel into the combo for the command grab. Oh, he's teleport. Oh man. Okay, good block on that soul ball there. Oh, but oh. again, he's just running right into him and oh, no conversion. Again, just using the same pressure. Oh. It's not working for him. So low poke underneath that uh, projectile from Jax to finish the round out. And a I noticed a lot of Jax too. I mean, the projectile is plus. It's a very good option. It but is. It, you, it's a high. You can just duck it and punish. Right. Oh, and gets hit by Raw. Are we going to see a break? We are. Smart stuff. He's got it. He's got to set the momentum. He does not want to get caught in a combo. Nice. Gets him mid screen. Pushing him slowly towards the corner, but again, another, another poke. He just jumps over him for positioning here, pressuring him into the corner. Okay. <laughs> Almost punished, but yeah. not quite. Oh, there goes the urn. And again, gets caught. This is going to almost close it out. Is he going to... He's not going to burn any meter. He has x-ray if he wants to use it. So Vicious needs to make something happen right here if he wants yeah, to stay there on. Ah, there it is. Good call, man. And there it is. I mean, when you're that far ahead on life, and you know your opponent has to do something in order to get some pressure in, you have x-ray. It, it's a lot of armor. You might as well use it. Yeah, definitely really well played there by Red. So oh, I am not a fan of watching this fatality. It's, uh, it's, it's quite, <laughs> quite graphic. <laughs> That's just gross. The sound effects. Man. Yeah, I, I gotta say one thing that Netherrealm always nails, like to the T in every one of their games, is the sound effects. In these games, is just phenomenal. This one's on another level too. I really yeah. feel like MKX. I mean, even the first time I heard like the. 
trailers and stuff, I was like, oh man. Yeah, but I mean, good stuff to Brett Vicious as well for making it to Definitely. the top eight. Unfortunately, he was just too willing to let Brett just trade. He just wanted to play the projectile game. It did not work for him. He got caught with the slow ball, right. led into a full combo punish. Often. Often, yeah. yeah. And he just wasn't able to get any momentum going. And then when he finally did get close, what was happening was he was using the same pressure string. He wasn't mixing up grabs. He wasn't really trying to trip up Brett's defense. And for that reason, Brett just stood there, blocked, and then punished accordingly. Yeah, Brett did a great job of all the punish opportunities that he had. Yeah. So he really made the, the damage count. I don't think we saw a single throw from... No, dishes. not yeah. a single throw. And and so. again, I know I, I, I kind of preach that a lot that you should throw in this game, but mm -hmm. I mean, when characters such as Jack, he doesn't really have the greatest high-low mix-ups, especially because of the fact that his dash punch overhead is very punishable. Mm -hmm. you you got to start making your opponent respect. you got to make him want to not just sit there and block. That way your mix-ups are starting to be effective. I mean, and he was getting pretty good damage when he was able to open him up, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough for him to really make a difference, and that's why Bread... You know, he took the match and he took it convincingly 3 1. Yeah, even, uh, yeah, I was going to say, even the first match that Vicious did win, he was really just doing small chunks of damage. Yeah. And then uh, it seemed like Bread kind of got the download after that, you know, game I, one. I completely agree, yeah. And then he, um, you know, Vicious really not able to adjust enough to, to make a difference and good, great stuff by Bread. So, yeah. good to see Vicious, though. I mean, uh, like I, mean, I said, he made top eight. Yeah, definitely. And, um, I'm not super familiar with his name, so hopefully we'll see him next week hey, or the week after. Maybe next week he really, maybe he chooses a different variation next week. We don't know. Or just hits that uh, Ermac lab, which I'm sure he's doing right now. Like, uh, yeah. He's, I love watching that, like when you're watching people stream and they lose to someone and they're and immediately, they just go immediately to the lab, to training yeah. room. Hey man, they, it's a smart way to go. Yeah, definitely. It works. It works. That's, yeah. uh, that's how top players get better. That's true. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and go to a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to continue with more MKX Pro League. Stay tuned, guys. Jason Voorhees, the iconic slasher from the silver screen, makes an appearance in Mortal Kombat X. His three variations cater to players who love decimating their opponents with command grabs and terrifying specials. The slasher variation equips Jason with his infamous machete, extending the range of his normal attacks. Machete launch, back XYY, is an advancing normal that launches his victim. Brooding, forward BY, is a low overhead combo starter that can be chained together to take his opponent to the corner. In the unstoppable variation, Jason gains the special move Rise, down down B, granting him temporary healing over time. Another special move, Punishment, down down A, increases his damage for a short duration. Jason will resurrect once every round, consuming his meter to regain health. The Relentless variation gives Jason a set of special moves to trap and stalk his next victim. Pursuit, down down A, temporarily prevents the opponent from dashing, running, and reverses their controls. Lake Mist, down back Y, teleports Jason behind his unsuspecting foe. Because this variation is focused on close range command grabs, it's best to activate Pursuit and Killing Machine after you've knocked your opponent to the ground. Killing Machine is available in the Slasher and Relentless variations. At the cost of being briefly incapacitated, this special move gives Jason unflinching armor for a short time. The goal of Killing Machine is to end the combo in a hard knockdown. When the buff runs out, Jason will be vulnerable for a couple seconds, but time it right to avoid being punished. Jason imparts the true meaning of horror with his X-Ray Finisher. Jason makes his mother proud with a cinematic fatality. Finish him!
Jason wins. Enjoy the horrifying killing machine, Jason Voorhees. And tune in to the ESL Mortal Kombat X Pro League, presented by Xbox.